Hi everyone, I'm just in the process of creating my witch's handbook and I just wanted to show you how you can make a magic wand or like a Harry Potter wand for your kids or if it's a Halloween costume. I saw this online so I thought I would share. So I just went outside and got this stick. It was sticking into our plants and this one is about, I would say seven to eight inches long. So you're gonna need some beads, some glue gun, and um, beads, glue gun, and some acrylic paint. So first thing I'm gonna do is uh, drizzle all over my um, wand with some glue gun glue. So I'm gonna try and do it from this angle so you guys can see what I'm doing without putting my um, camera in the tripod. So in this old fashioned antique, uh, Ash, I think it was an ash bin where you sweep the ashes in. I've got random things. So I've got some odd beads. It doesn't matter for this project what color beads you use. And I've also got some seed uh, beads here. And I've also got, I think it's called a hematite. And I really want this on there and I'm not going to paint over this one. So I might put that on last. So what you simply do is you take your glue gun glue right here and you drizzle it all over the stick. Just gobs of it starting at the top and just let the glue... See how it's just dripping and the more drippage the better? See that? So the more it drips the more effective it's going to be. And then while the glue is still hot while the glue is still hot, you can just lay a few beads, ooh, stuck to the table, and, and just pick them up with your wand, just like that. Just randomly pick them up. Now, I made mine shorter because it's going in a book or on the side of my book, so I don't want it to be this big, long wand, but you guys can do whatever you want. It's so fun. Can you see the effect I'm getting there? So I'm just going to add some more glue because you the glue is what's going to give it that wandy witchy look. So I've still got a few beads here. I'll just lay that down. And so you just continue to do that and with all assorted beads and honestly this is where you use beads if you don't like the color of them and you don't think you're going to use them on a project this would be the perfect project so can you see how that is so you can end up with something that looks like this leaving the bottom half so you can hold on to it the next thing you're going to do is paint this with acrylic paint either in a black or a dark brown and I'm using black because my book is mostly all black so you just take your thing and just literally paint all of the beads the glue everything when I first saw this online I was thinking shouldn't it be a you know um, the red show through but apparently the authentic wand didn't have all those glitz and and I never um, read Harry Potter and I've only seen a couple of Harry Potter movies but I think the real wand in Harry Potter or the one that they're trying to emulate with this doesn't have a lot of baubles on it it's just one solid color which makes it kind of look really even more eerie I think creepy looking <laughs> so just continue to paint your wand in whatever color of your choice so I will paint all the way down to the handle and let it dry on one side and flip it over but for video's sake I'm going to just take some glitter because I want my wand to have a little bit of glitter. I found these antique um, salt and pepper shakers in a uh, thrift store. And they just hold that fine glitter perfectly. And it's just like shaking a little salt on. Yeah, look at that. See? 
That's looking really pretty. So that's pretty much all there is to it. And then you can add ribbons or strings or any old thing you want to hang off the end of this wand once it's all done. And I'm going to glue my hematite on the very tip here or either down here somewhere. I just, Or I may not even use it at all. I don't know. But anyway, that's how you make a wand, a magic wand.